Depending on GPU configuration and power limits and lockabilities, undervolting can significantly improve either GPU efficiency or in some cases GPU performance. Better efficiency helps reducing the TDP and running GPU cooler and quieter. Today we're going to undervolt two relatively modern and power-hungry cards, Pilot RTX 3080 Ti and Sapphire Pure RX 7800 XT using MSI Afterburner for NVIDIA and Radeon settings for AMD and measuring the improvement that Undervolt provides. Hello and welcome back to Hardware Lab. Let's begin by working with an RTX card and MSI Afterburner. We'll be using the Unlock TDP for all profiles including the stock settings to prevent the power limit from being a bottleneck and to stay as close as possible to the desired voltage. Unfortunately, with this particular card, the TDP boost is minimal, only about 4%, but it's still an improvement. This limitation may prevent the GPU from maintaining the target voltage causing it to lower the frequency to stay within the allowed TDP. However, this can actually result in better performance with undervolting as achieving higher frequencies at lower voltages becomes possible with the available TDP range. After unlocking the TDP, we launch the game, open the curve editor in Afterburner and begin gradually lowering the voltage in small increments. Once we reached the point where the game became unstable, crashed or started stuttering, we had to raise the voltage slightly. If the game ran smoothly and passed the additional stability tests in other games, that marked the final point for our configuration, the performance mode setup. Other configurations involved reducing both the voltage and the frequency to find the optimal balance between minimizing performance loss and significantly lowering the TDP. The goal was to identify the most efficient ratio where power consumption drops without a major impact on performance. Overall, the configurations ended up looking like this. Stock runs in a range between 806 and 950 millivolts because, well, it adjusts depending on whether the GPU hits TDP limit. Performance mode that generally runs on stock or higher than stock clocks uses 818 millivolts, balance 756 millivolts, silent 743 millivolts. The RTX 3080 was tested on a Ryzen 5 3600, however, it did not affect the measured results since we were GPU limited in every test. The reason for such a configuration is that Hardware Lab team members are located all around the globe in completely different parts of the world, so just sharing the components and even shipping is not usually available for us. So we are doing our best to present you the most accurate results considering the circumstances and we really hope you understand that not every single test is required to be done on the absolute best hardware to be legitimate. The recording was done via NVIDIA Shadowplay and the data for the infographics was collected during the set of different runs without recording. Performance mode in Talos Principle 2 shows both slight FSR advantage and significantly lower power consumption in comparison to stock settings. This is happening because the stock is limited by available TDP that is ridiculously high. Silent mode allows to lower the consumption even further, to around two-thirds of the stock without a significant performance loss.
Cyberpunk tends to be more sensitive and lose more performance as the clock goes down. However, the performance settings are still a bit faster and consume less power with the styling settings dropping the power significantly. Metro Exodus is one of the most demanding games in terms of power consumption, so most of the GPUs usually drop their frequencies here. The performance mode seems to have no significant effect on performance or the consumption in this game. However, optimizing the power consumption with either balanced or silent mode is still possible. So, overall, the RTX 3080 when tuned properly can drop up to a third of its original power consumption, which in case of our palette card can get rid of constant noise that can be easily heard even through the headphones. If you don't care about the noise or have a better design of an RTX 3080, you can easily achieve slightly better performance with reduced power consumption. But what about the AMD's GPU that is way more power efficient out of the box and consumes less in general? For AMD, we've decided to use the Radeon software, included with AMD's drivers, and basically done the same thing in the settings menu. We've unlocked the power consumption, which, in case of 7800 XT, made it almost impossible to get limited with. Then opened the game and started decreasing the voltage until the power consumption is reduced, but still stable for performance mode, and slightly tuned the clocks for other modes. Due to differences in the way how GPUs manage voltage and clocks, the voltage values and Radeon are always dynamic and operate in a certain range, so the ranges are 900 to 1040 millivolts in stock, 845 to 875 in performance, 815 to 824 in balanced, and 799 to 807 in silent. The RX 7800 XT was tested on the Ryzen 5700X3D, and the recording was done via the capture card so it doesn't affect the performance. Although there is no noticeable performance increase from performance mode in Talos Principle 2 on RDNA card, unlike Nvidia, due to a TDP limit difference, the advantage in power efficiency is huge. It is even higher on balanced and silent modes with a TDP reduced to be constantly under 200 watts. Another game that, depending on the chosen model, allows to reduce the TDP level almost by quarter, with a pretty reasonable performance loss.
Metro Enhanced is the only game that comes close to being limited in stock with unlocked TDP, so a really small performance boost shows up when using the performance undervolt mode. As for the rest of modes, Balanced and Silent allows to reduce TDP significantly, up to almost a third. However, it's still not enough to get under 200 watts. If you have some available time to tune your PC, there's absolutely no downside to trying undervolting your GPU, making it more efficient and quiet, potentially even increasing the performance. Undervolting may take a few evenings to fine tune, but the results are worth it. I hope this video gave you a clear idea on how to undervolt your GPU and the improvements you can expect. Thank you for watching and as usual stay up to date with HL.